The next to receive award is Susan Moldenhauer, and she has done. I just want to tell you, you know, when the Arts Council, uh, they, they get these, uh, these nominees and they do a beautiful job going through it and it's, it's quite scientific actually because they, they keep score and they vote and they discuss and they vote and they discuss. They look through resumes, they look through the recommendation and, and Susan, uh, then that's passed on to our office and as we look through the material, you've accomplished so very much and we are so pleased tonight to, to recognize you. And so, Susan, congratulations, come on up. Thank you. <laughs>wanted to move out west and I saw the position opening for a curator of museum programs at the University of Wyoming Art Museum. I remember flying in for the interview in Tulare, in one of those really tiny little planes. I looked down in this little tiny town in this huge space with nothing around it but landscape and I thought, how is a museum of the caliber that they were talking about going to work in a small isolated place like this? During her time as the director of the University of Wyoming Art Museum, we had the pleasure to work together to create the Laramie Mural Project. I think having public art in communities, it engages people. Say a business is thinking about looking at Laramie as a site. They're gonna look at, you know, do we have a strong education program? Do we have a vibrant community? It provides a foundation on which economic development can happen. One of the key contributions Susan made was this concept of the museum as classroom. Teachers often say, we know the kids who have started at the art museum. They're much more engaged in the classroom. Their social emotional skills are much more developed. When the artmobile shows up, it creates new avenues of thinking. The Ann Simpson Artmobile is one of the outreach programs at the art museum so that every Wyoming citizen would have access to seeing original art. It broadens the cultural experience. What Susan's done for musicians has been great. She has documented the Laramie music scene with an amazing set of photos. The thing about having a creative art scene and especially a healthy music scene is that it attracts other creative people. They may be the entrepreneurs, they may be the folks that start a new software company downtown. She had an imagination to think outside the box. The work that she has started in this state has been to dream and to teach people to dream and to show them how to organize and get a job done. What we now have is the Laramie Public Art Coalition and a public art plan for Laramie. We're really beginning to have conversations with city planners and YDOT and the broader municipality of Laramie to get art integrated into design processes. So when folks come here, they have an experience of seeing that this is a really creative, exciting, vibrant community. Susan Moldenauer, winner of a 2017 Governor's Arts Award. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, hi everybody. Um, <laughs> to Governor Mead and the Wyoming Arts Council, I better put these on or I can't see a thing. Um, thank you for this amazing recognition. I also want to thank those who put my name forward. Um, Siobhan Kelly, who wrote a really remarkable nom nomination letter. Adam Harris, Jay Shogren, Nelgie, Trey Sherwood, and Meg Thompson. I came to Wyoming in 1991. I had been the executive director of a small nonprofit contemporary art space in Charlottesville, Virginia, called Second Street Gallery. I was there five years. Every year from my vacation, I came west to Utah to photograph. Thank you. To, sorry, to photograph petroglyphs and the landscape. 200 rolls of film in two weeks would sustain my photographic work. I applied for the, ad, uh, for the Curator Museum programs at the University of Wyoming at the last moment, and then I forgot about it. Several months later, I received a call from the museum to see if I was still interested and to set up an interview. And that's when I made that little flight into Laramie and looked down and went, I don't understand how this is gonna work. 
Um, that was my only visit to Wyoming before I moved here. Folks in Virginia said about Laramie only that it was windy. And how could I possibly be making a career move? Well, it's been a great move. Um, I'm so grateful I had the opportunity to take the University of Wyoming Art Museum from its relocation in the spectacular Centennial Complex to the museum it is today, one with a strong exhibition program, especially in contemporary art, that serves, age, that serves all ages from preschool to adult statewide and offers research, interdisciplinary, and professional development opportunities for the students of the University of Wyoming. I didn't do it alone. Uh, I'm forever grateful for the support of the university administration, the museum's national advisory board, an incredible staff of dedicated professionals, and a diverse support base for over the 26 years of my career as a museum director. And then making that museum be among the best in Wyoming and the Front Range. I'm... <laughs> I'm equally grateful for opportunities that have come along to advance the arts in Laramie, connect town and gown, and support and recognize the artists among us. Working with Wendy Brady Hoft and all the artists of Touchstone Laramie, Trey Sherwood on the Laramie Mural Project, Meg Thompson and the Laramie Public Art Coalition Steering Committee, Ricky Klagas and the UW Public Art Committee, the Pipeline Art Group, and the uh, community university committee currently working together to bring the international group Sans Facade to Laramie to do a very special community engagement piece. We hope this spring. I want to make a special note about the mural meetings with the artists in Laramie. Um, this has been one of the most amazing experiences. Those meetings with the creative, collaborative, collegial, and supportive efforts of the artists working together to express Laramie's values and history have been nothing less than inspirational. Since retiring in November last year, I continue to be involved with many of these public projects. However, it is my studio practice in photography that now challenges me on a daily basis. I have throughout my museum career focused on making time to make new images, even if few have been printed and little has seen the light of day beyond social media. A lifetime of work lies ahead. To share just a few things about my studio work. My, my series on musicians is a really special one to me. Um, I love hanging out in bars and concert venues to photograph musicians, and Laramie has so many great bands right now, it's just remarkable. I'm really honored to call many of them friends, but they're a challenging subject requiring working in available light, hand-holding my camera, the constant motion of performance, and negotiating the crowds up front. How to make sense to it all in the split-second magic of photography. I'm a bit of a purist and make my images at the moment of exposure, so no cropping in Photoshop for me. <laughs> Um, this, the second series I want to talk about just for a second is um, a series that I'm working with with Wendy Brady Hoft and Margaret Wilson, two remarkable women who have worked with me for the last eight or ten years in collaboration. We work on site together and then we do an exhibition and a small performance and some workshops and things like that. Um, the Carissa Mine at South Pass City is our current project. And so we will, this summer, have two exhibitions, one at the University of Wyoming Visual Arts Gallery and one at the Lander Art Center. In closing, I want to acknowledge my partner, Bob Moore, who has been by my side for 18 years. I would not have had the strength and fortitude to accomplish what I have without his encouragement, understanding, and support. I'm also really pleased that my sister and her husband, Mary Kay and Bob Reitz, and my brother, John Moldenhauer, traveled across the country to be here tonight. Their presence means so much. Thank you.